Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We are well into the month of July now, and we are well into the book of Daniel. In fact, we are nearing the end of the first half of the book of Daniel. If you have been following this for these past few weeks, you've heard me talk about the two different sections of the book of Daniel. The first six chapters are the stories and the dreams. The second six chapters are the visions of Daniel. Well, we're going to be in chapter 6 this week, and so we're ending this first half, the incredible stories of the book of Daniel, and this is the most famous story of them all. It's Daniel in the lion's den for Daniel chapter 6. I've entitled it Prayer in a Pit because it's not just about the rescue of Daniel in an awful situation. It's also about Daniel's Christian character his ability to continue to pray to his Lord in extreme circumstances. We're going to go through this reader's guide in 10 minutes or less, so let's review as we get into chapter 6. Now, the Babylonian Empire had taken control of Israel all the way back in the late 600s BC, 607, I think, maybe 605, I can't remember the exact date is when the first exile, the first deportation of the people of Israel happened. They reigned, the Babylonians did, over Israel for about 70 years, give or take. After that time, the Persians come to play. Darius is the man in charge. Now, Darius is also called Cyrus in other parts of the Bible. So one of them is his name in the the Median language, and the other is his name in the Persian language. I want you to notice that when you get to the very end of this chapter, verse 28, it says, and in some translations. So Darius and Cyrus. So it distinguishes between one or the other. And then other translations have have a phrase, that is. So Cyrus that is Darius, showing us the same person. They're probably the same person, just with different names. And so I don't want you to be confused by that. That's why I'm pointing it out here in this review, this kind of historical anomaly where you have one guy with two different names, but sometimes it's a little bit unclear how that all works. Also remember that Daniel was promoted to the second in command in all of Babylon when Darius took over. And so now when you have an entire empire wiped out, this is not just a change in presidential administration and they remove the cabinet and bring in their own guys. This was an empire defeating another empire. This was wholesale slaughter. There are a lot of people that died. And since Daniel was the second in command of the Babylonian Empire, now usually that would mean Daniel would be executed along with everyone else. It's to the Lord's credit, of course, and the Lord's grace that he kept Daniel alive, even though it is now an entire new government taking charge. What to watch for in Daniel chapter 6. Even in this new system, Daniel rises to the top. He is not just uh, relegated to a minor role. Darius understands how important Daniel is to the running of his empire. And immediately, Daniel has a prominent position in now this new Persian uh, kingdom that rules the world. I also want you to notice how commendable Daniel's prayer life is how bold he is, even when his life is in danger, when he knows that people are out to get him, when he understands his Christian routine is going to get him in trouble, he does not waver. Daniel is a very commendable character in the pages of the Bible, and and Daniel chapter 6 especially highlights that for us. Notice verse 23 in Daniel chapter 6, why Daniel was rescued. I'm going to tell you right now so you can look for it, because he trusted in his Lord. 
That doesn't mean that the Lord is going to rescue you from every illness or every evil or every accident just because you trust in him. But the Lord knows that you trust in him. And so anything that he allows to happen to you is going to be for your good. This miracle of Daniel being rescued prompts King Darius to sing a wonderful song of praise to the Lord at the very end of this book. Now, Darius, as you're going to see, did not want Daniel to die. But because of a poor decision that Darius made, his hands were kind of tied. And so he is overjoyed to see Daniel survive, and he praises Daniel's God for it. What is the main point for Daniel chapter 6? God rescues his children from danger at just the right time in just the right way. He'll do that for you too. Maybe not in the way you expect him to. Maybe not in the way you want him to. Maybe not in the way you ask him to. But the Lord is not only capable, he is also loving enough to make sure that he takes care of his children in the way that is best for them. So what does this have to do with my life? Why should you read Daniel chapter 6? You have every reason to pray to your God because he always promises to listen to you and to rescue you according to his perfect will. Those two points are highlighted in Daniel chapter 6. Prayer and rescue. The Lord is going to continue to be with you and you can always go to him with whatever is on your heart. There's Daniel chapter 6 in a nutshell. There's a, your reader's guide as you get into it this week. So it's time to read Daniel chapter 6. You have until next week to get it done. You have until next week to email me any questions or comments. In fact, if you don't have just till next week, you can email me at any time about anything for any reason. But now you have the first set of Daniel in your hands, these first six chapters. Next week, we're going to start on the second six chapters, of course, chapter seven, but we're going to get into a little bit of a different feel of Daniel next week. These are the stories. Next week starts the visions. The visions are going to be crazy. They're going to be almost out of this world, but that's why we have a reader's guide to Daniel. I'm going to help you navigate these visions so that you know exactly what's happening and why. And as we get into it, you're going to notice that they aren't quite as crazy as they seem at first glance. It is simply a prediction about future kingdoms. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, read Daniel chapter 6. Enjoy the incredible story of Daniel in the lion's den. And may the Lord bless your week. And the Lord bless your study of his word. He always does. That's what he promises to do. And he will continue to do that every time you open his Bible.